So I've bought one of these um, DeWalt 16 gauge fixing guns, same as what your Pazload gun takes, except this one doesn't use gas. Long story short, I've lost a few batteries in the last six months, so all the original ones from my first kit I got. Just going to go buy a couple of new batteries just to keep me self going, but then I looked at this and it came with a battery. And it was something sort of that I'd been looking at anyway, so I bought in. Um, Actually, looking at it, um, a bit of weight in it too. I mean, it's about a kilo heavier than the um, pass load, but it doesn't take gas, so really that's a convenient sort of aspect of it. Just especially um, if you're not using it that often, the gas isn't going to go stale, and the gun, you know, good when you want to go use it. If you want it for a convenience factor, you've got to charge battery because your rest of your kit's going, or you whack the battery in this and off you go. Like I said, though, it is quite bulky, so getting into corners and stuff might be a bit difficult. The nails, you can uh, light it down either way, or shove them in and release it. Or, yeah, like I said, you can shove them in and uh, then light it like that. Just a trophy with the battery I've already got charged in. We'll see how we go. A bit of whiteboard and a bit of a uh, Harder. Here we are out on the veranda. As you can see, I've already had a couple of goes shooting a couple of these nails in there. And it's left them a bit proud. Having said that, the iron bark has been out here drying under the veranda for uh, probably four years and it's tried to smack a nail straight into it. Yeah. Probably, probably done not too bad. We would likely have seen it finish it. Yeah, consistent. Not putting them home. Well, the convenience factor, I think it's hands down a winner, especially for a uh, DIY sort of environment of using it. It's got the belt hook, no gas to go off, uses the same batteries as the rest of your kit. Um, this, I understand that this is the old model, takes the the plug-in type batteries, but you can get this um, same or similar tool in the brushless and it takes the slide on batteries. Um, the normal sort of fixing like whiteboard and architraves and stuff like that, I think it's a winner. And shooting a 50mm nail in it straight into some iron bark, I think that's probably an unrealistic test, so probably can't really take much from that because I don't think it would be very very common sort of thing to be doing anyway. I'm quite happy with it. Suits my purposes. If you're fixing out here, so probably be going for the air hose and a fixing gun, run off that and get a lot lighter. Other than that, I think it does a pretty good job. Thanks for watching.